My biggest accomplishment is winning my first Senior World Championships in 2014. There is nothing for me that can beat that feeling of crossing a finish line in first place. It's something that tests me, it's something that drives me, it's something that makes me want to be better. I'm always working towards a goal and when I see that I'm getting closer to achieving that goal, that spurs me on every single day. Rowing is a, its own separate element because you can do it both on land and on water. It burns a lot of calories. It's very much a leg dominant workout. That is the big driving force. But when you're looking at the legs, you've got the glutes in there as well. You get a bit of a quad burn. But when you're hanging off the handle, you're also engaging your arms and your biceps. You're hanging off through your lats. Your back has to be strong. You need, a, you need to be able to brace through your core. At the end of every stroke, you're almost doing a half sit up. So it's amazing for a full body workout. I can guarantee on a rowing machine, you know, within a minute, you can go to such a level where you're gonna be falling off it. The high intensity workouts are gonna burn fat quicker and you will have that lasting effect afterwards, but you can burn just as many calories at a much lower intensity. If you wanna do, say, an hour on the rowing machine, you can burn close to a thousand calories. If you learn how to row correctly, you're gonna enjoy the sport a lot more and you're gonna see the benefits a lot quicker. And along that process, you're gonna start seeing how much more defined your muscles are. You're naturally gonna get fitter, healthier, and burn that fat along the way. And once you start seeing how you develop and you see your scores improving, then that's just gonna keep pushing you along the way. You don't wanna get stuck in this spiral of looking at the scales for results. You wanna know how to row correctly. These five points will give you a very good idea of where to at least begin. Step one, resistance. Never go into a gym, sit down on a rowing machine and put the resistance up as high as it will go. All this will do is greater your chances of injuring yourself. And I would say anywhere around half resistance is a great place to start. Step two, foot placement. Look at what your feet are set on. It's very easy to adjust the feet. You just pull the straps towards you, lift it up. The basic setting that you wanna be on is have the strap around the toe joint. Step three, push, don't pull. You want a good strong leg drive and you want your arms to be nice and long. What you don't want to be doing is starting the stroke by pulling on the handle. Leave your arms long, leave them loose and just enjoy pushing through your legs to start every stroke. Point number four is rowing within your range. You don't want to be rowing so long that when you finish the stroke, you're almost horizontal. You want to be thinking about your sat in an armchair so you're in a nice comfortable position if you're looking at the dials on a clock, anywhere between one and two o'clock. Never sit back too far, that will put pressure through your hip joints. It'll also overuse the quad muscles. And step five, stroke rate. The stroke rate is how many strokes you take every minute. And it's very common to walk into a gym and you've maybe done this yourself, where you sit on a machine and you move as fast as you can and in your head you're getting a good workout. Moving faster doesn't necessarily mean you're working harder. What I would always suggest is a to 20. Now this will feel very low but it'll give you more time to relax between strokes. If you want a higher intensity workout gradually start building the stroke rates but I wouldn't go any higher than say 35. It doesn't really matter how old you think you are or if you're too young to have a go at it. The sport will encompass everything and everyone. For me it brings out the best in you. If you walk into a room and you're naturally quite a shy person you keep yourself to yourself once you get into a workout your true personality will come out and you know you leave it all on the floor